it's uh, something we talk about a lot, just kind of just to kind of align it with even just fitness. So if someone has a fitness goal, we kind of talk to them about how motivation and, and your habits, right? So at some point you're gonna become unmotivated. And in your sense, really it could be, I don't really wanna work on my, my non-for-profit today. I don't wanna wake up at 3.30, but you're always gonna to default to your habits. So if your habits are that you wake up early, that you get your articles in, that you get that workout in early, you're gonna still succeed, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. you're not gonna to default to something that's just saying, oh no, instead I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna sit on the couch today. No, what I do that makes me feel good is I wake up early, I get to the gym early, I get in maybe two workouts, I read, mm -hmm. I read articles, and now I have time for my not-for-profit, mm -hmm. right? If I was defaulting to bad habits, you lose that time, right? Yeah. Now, you don't get to, now you don't get to hang out with your girlfriend <laughs> and yeah. she's upset, you're upset, right? Yeah. And that yeah. stuff starts to compound and snowball. Yeah. So yeah, it's almost really like good. the, right, the, the, the beauty and the enjoyment, they always say like the process, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That like the motivational BS, right? On social media, right? When someone or an influencer is pushing, it's like the process is the reward kind of and, that, and mm -hmm. it, but it's it's extremely true i just don't think people live deep enough and look deep enough inside of the, what they want in their life to feel that mm -hmm. so it's like the process is the outcome mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. constantly doing that mm -hmm. to be able to be who you are right mm -hmm. and it's like it's not a stop and it's not a stop doing it once you once you achieve something Right, people look at that with like I guess retirement because that's very numerically mm -hmm. based. But everything else is the process, right? And I wanted to ask you how does how does your process change when you have these goals, right? <coughs> so you ran, you you had the goal to do the hundred mile ultra marathon, mm -hmm. um, launching the supplement company amongst being uh, overseas, right? Amongst having pieces of real estate or looking to buy a piece of real estate and sacrifice that amount of money potentially hoping that it profits you back right how, how did your processes change specifically in the 100 mile marathon right and now going into a powerlifting competition with your your daily habits was what, what kind of shift did that take f like for yourself mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> well there's this this really interesting concept right Nietzsche is like one of my favorite philosophers phenomenal just brilliant guy he says that man is uh, man is something that must be overcome. What are you doing today to overcome yourself, right? Mm -hmm. It's the idea that, mm -hmm. that we must develop this, this concept within ourselves, right? This, 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 I guess, this psychological houses that we build within us. And his idea is that we are, instead of building one giant house, we should build many houses, right? Build many personas, so to say. And, and when the time comes, be able to destroy that house or be fine when it burns down because you have other, other houses, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And same thing with the psyche is the idea of, of being able to, to be a person that, that's not fixated on one particular thing. The, the more you develop, the more you develop your character, right? Yeah. So with that notion, sort of like when it comes to training for an ultra marathon, for example, mm -hmm. you know, um, if I'm going from powerlifting to training for an ultra marathon, there's this ego death that happens and it has to happen. And it kind of sucks. It, it's, it, you know, you start running and you're like, okay, I've been powerlifting for so long now. Like my, my fitness, my endurance is, is not where it used to be. And it kind of like hurts to start back again. And mm -hmm. then your strength starts going down as well. So you're just like, fuck. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't I, I squat feel that, that way. I don't I know feel what that do. every spring this summer. I'm like, oh, I'm going to run a couple of times a week. And I'm like, now I suck in the gym, right? It's like, yeah. it's, a, it's a tough hurdle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Over. But once you get over that point, like, like okay, you know, your, your ego hurts, and, but you move on and, and you sort of adapt mm -hmm. to it. And then you overcome it and you're developing this new aspect of yourself. Um, I try to do that with, with many different aspects of, of my being, which is part of it is my businesses. So I allocate time for that. Mm -hmm. and then my fitness <coughs> aspect of things. And then um, other stuff like my relationships, right? There's this concept in which an individual tends to aim for greatness, right? At one particular task, I find it, at least for myself, I find it problematic. I prefer the notion of wholeness, the idea of, of um, I guess, capturing a big aspect of things and instead of being, you know, 120% uh, efficient at that one task, rather be 
85% 85 efficiency at a multiple of different tasks. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of like keeps me whole, keeps me balanced. Like naturally, I'm, like I do a lot of stuff when it comes to aspects of like self-awareness, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm, I have a concept of knowing myself to an extent. 